Report Summaries. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to add a report summary to a chart or a graph or a tabular data set. In this case, I have an invoiced dashboard. And this invoiced amount shows, over time, how many invoices I've actually sent to my customers. This report summary on the top amplifies that data. For example, I get to see I've got 471 million sum in total invoices out. How I'm tracking to target, even some of those other dimensions like the demographic makeup, gender, region, and another metric of the total cost to deliver all those goods and services. So let's see how we actually create this report summary. So let's start with that invoice report that I showed you earlier. I want to add a summary to this to kind of amplify the dimensions and metrics that are part of this line chart. I'm going to begin by editing this report and let's go to the data stage. You'll see in the data stage this is a typical column report. I've got athlete region, gender, demographic, and two metrics here, invoiced amount and cost amount. And that's how I break down my data. Those dimensions and metrics are going to be available to me as I create this summary report. I want to skip ahead to the design stage. That's where I'm going to go ahead and start building this summary. Up in the top, you'll notice that there's a tab called Summary. and I'm going to click on that, and I'm presented with this Summary Builder dialog. This dialog gives me the opportunity to start building in those summary items. I'm going to begin with my primary metric. I want to track the total amount invoiced. Total invoiced. And the metric I want to follow, of course, is my invoice, and I'm going to sum it by the aggregation. That's what I'm going to begin with. And now I want to track that as a target. And let's do it periodically. I could do it as a total number or no uh, target tracking at all. But I want to track this periodically over time. And I'm going to display it as a target. Am I on target? Am I off target? Because it's periodic, I need to select a date field. And so again, inside of one of my data elements, I'm going to choose month. And my target, I want to track it against cost. So in my case, am I making money or am I losing money? So my other, my next metric is going to be cost. And you'll notice I get a nice little preview over here, the total amount invoiced and how am I tracking to target over time. I could even change from a percentage or actual number if I wanted. I'm going to leave that for a percentage. And as far as my variance, I could go actual number that I'm tracking. That looks good to me. So that's the first element of my summary. I want to go ahead and save that and begin building the next. Now I could go ahead and publish this as my summary, but I want to add and look at some of the other dimensions on this particular report. So I'm going to add a dimension, and the dimension that I'm after is the demographic. So let's see, demo graphic, okay? And the dimension I'm going to look at, of course, is demographic. And I have the ability now to select a particular metric if I want to. So I could say, show me by invoiced amount, how do we track to that demographic? And I can determine here a color. So maybe I want to add and, and make that a nice orange color if I want. And the number of segments I want to make visible would be three. I can save that. And you'll notice now that I have my first primary metric that I'm tracking, which is my total invoiced amount. And then I've added a dimension that I want to track as well, which is my demographic. And I can keep building this out. Say for the, this example, I want to look at gender. And again, I go back to my data set and pull in the gender demographic. And let's go ahead and say I want to see gender by amount of invoice. And let's pick a different color here. Let's go purple. And I'm going to leave it at a max two segments and save. And as I continue on and on, I can build out that additional uh, demographic that I want to see, the gender, even region, and so forth. Let's add one final secondary metric. So I'm going to hit Add Secondary Metric. And this one I want to track is going to be the cost. So I'm going to say the cost of delivering those goods or services. I want to see, make sure that I'm tracking that OK. Of course, the dimension, uh, pardon me, the metric I want to track is cost. And I'm going to sum it, but I could average it as well if I wanted to. Maybe I want to see the average cost to deliver that invoice. From a variance standpoint, I don't really need to track a variance. I just want to see what my total average cost 
to deliver those goods and services are. I'm going to save that. And now you'll see I've got a nice little uh, summary report here that has my total invoice, how it breaks out by demographic and gender, and my average cost. Let me show you a couple of final things here in the settings. I have a number of items here. I can say, where do I want this report summary to, to live? Do I want it on the top or by the side? In this particular case, I've got several uh, summary items. So across the top makes a little better sense. I can include the dividers or not. So if I don't want to put those little vertical lines, um, I can turn that off or turn it back on. And then my final options, of course, are do I want to display that summary on mobile devices in the report itself or on a dashboard? I'm going to enable that in all of those and just save this and submit that to my report. So now that report includes not only my chart, and my graph, but I also have a nice summary across the top that more fully amplifies that data that this little uh, line graph is representing. Again, we call that a report summary, and it's available in the design step.